The flukes can also tell us details of a whale's life story. There are the freckles and birthmarks and rippled edges he's born with. And then there are the scars, scrapes, and even bites and tears that he collects over the years. When we run this set of flukes through Cascadia's database, it tells us they belong to a male humpback, catalog number CRC-13651. He's been observed returning to feed in these waters for more than 20 years. We also find out that he's part of what's known as the Mexican breeding population. Under the Endangered Species Act, animals of the same type can be split into distinct population segments and protected differently if they meet certain criteria. The humpbacks we encounter around Washington and British Columbia come from three distinct populations, each named for the area they use as winter mating and calving grounds. About 70% are whales that breed in Mexican waters and are listed as threatened. 20% migrate here from Hawaii, a population segment that's considered healthy. The rest are from a Central American group that's still listed as endangered. We ID this whale as CRC-13604. Those perpendicular scars are called rake marks. They tell the tale of a harrowing escape when this big boy was just a baby. It was a transient killer whale that grabbed hold of his fluke and left those tooth marks. It's very likely that this humpback's mama fought off a pod of attacking killer whales and saved his life. 